Okay, good morning guys. Here we are. <laughs> um, I'm having a pleasure day today um, with uh, an old legend, Dennis. Uh, now, if, uh, Dennis Dixon. Um, he's a bit of a legend. He used to fish with uh, Essex boys and um, he fished with all the stars before. He fished with uh, Nuddy and Marksy and all them, but uh, he retired over here 20 years ago now, Dennis. Um, as you were saying, uh, I think uh, Mick Thill, he's fished with Mick Thill's team, you know, so he was a bit of a good, a good angler in them days. And he's come over here and he's, uh, you know, he's involved in our match fishing group. And uh, what he's done, he's decided to sort of uh, take me on um, a place called Amazon. Amazon Preacher. Now there's a couple of Amazons here, there's the giant Amazon of course, and there's uh, another Amazon lake, and then this is called Amazon, Amazon Preacher. Uh, fishing back Watian, Watian. Yeah, I'll show you the picture now. There you are. There's the signpost. There's the fish. Some nice fishing here, apparently. Red tails. So, what, what's what's uh, what are we going to catch here, Dennis? What, what are we going to catch here? Uh, it depends on the venue, but at the end of the day, yeah, you'll have a mixture of um, you, you get swai, you get yeah. red tails, right. you get um, Aesop. Aesop, yeah, and um. If I if I told you the names of the other fish, you wouldn't recognise them anyway. <laughs> offhand, I, I wouldn't. No. I can't. Uh, I can't remember all of them. But there's a no, there's enough. a good there's a good mixture of fish. All right. Okay. In here. Oh, Dennis has had this rod made up. Have you by a? Uh... No, I just did this. Oh, myself. you done it yourself? Yeah. Okay. So he's made it into like a three foot uh, three piece sort of match rod. I just took yeah. the uh, I just took the handle. Oh, you off, took the handle off, off that. This. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm with you. Um, and just... added a handle to it. Okay. You, you can't buy uh, a decent. Yeah, you can't bite these. Oh, oh, that's right. that's yeah. like 12 and a half, 13, 4. Oh, that's all right, yeah. Which is ideal for the wagon. Quite right. beefy as well, yeah. 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 Okay, so Dennis recommends I should fish the slider, yeah? Yeah, without a doubt, yeah. 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 And, uh, yeah. and just keep dropping the feed in. And yeah. yeah. Do you catch them up stuff. in the water at all? You can do, but they'll tell you because they grab it on the way down. You know, right, yeah. Yeah. okay. All right, well, I can set my other rod up as well as a... As a standby. A, a, you know, sort of up in the, up in the water and this yeah. one going on. Oh, we'll give it a go anyway. So, so what do you think, get our matches on you? Would it be a bit too... Uh... Uh, no, you can have matches on you, yeah. yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's mostly big fish. You, yeah, you're, you're, yeah. you're not going to uh, catch not... the same as you catch at the other Amazon. Oh, right. It's, okay. it's going to be... Yeah. Uh, there's oh, alligator gar as well, those things. Okay. Are oh, yeah, the yeah. big teeth, I know. They're very prolific in here. Really? Uh, right. But you get them mainly right on the top. So. Yeah. Um, so That'll be, be interesting. Got a, yeah, you've, nice. got a, you've got lots of different yeah. species to go. And, and uh, I mean, the bread works here, is it like oh, anywhere? Bread works. Every, everywhere, in everywhere yeah, yeah. yeah. The only thing we're missing here is maggots and casters. Yeah, well, <laughs> as yeah. I said, I, it was a little business idea. I'd, uh, two years ago, when I came over here, I don't know if I told you, and uh, I, I uh, set up some chickens in, in John's castaways, yeah. and overnight the bloody dogs ate it. <laughs> they must have smelt it and bloody ate the chickens. Um, it's very easy to breed in here. Yeah, stick, stick, so. stick them in a bag, and the flies get in, and, and you'll end up with maggots a week yeah. later, basically. Yeah. But, uh, so. Fair enough. Yeah, anyway, it's a nice venue. It's lovely looking at it. It's, you know, get a few pegs from you, can you? It's, a, it's fairly deep. Yeah. And it's deep. Is it, is it oxygenated or is it natural water coming in? Um, I think they've got a feed in going in over there, there and a feed out. And a feed going out down the there. Yeah. Okay. But, uh, this fish is better when the weather's really hot here. Yeah, um, they yeah. don't, they, they, this is like cold weather for these fish. It's like winter fishing in England. <laughs> Never. Basically. Bloody, it's about 30 degrees today. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but they go dormant. When we have a lot of rain, mm. with, the, with the water, the rainwater being cold, it goes straight to the bottom. It's strange, isn't it? Just a couple of uh, degrees. Yeah. And yeah. I noticed that last time I was here when we had rain, it, it went right off. Yeah. yeah. So the warmer it is, the better, really. Yeah, uh, yeah, we've got to be sweating our nuts off too. Uh, yeah. For the fishing to be at its best, if you know what I mean. I know. Okay. But there you go. There you are. Well, we'll be good. Anyway, let's go and tackle up then. Let's see how we get on. And uh... I've got that other reel for you. Oh, uh, okay. He's going to let me a reel as well. <laughs> okay. I'm <laughs> fishing under the shade. Then this is uh, just on the bend. He's on them. He got an umbrella, so <laughs> so I thought I'd take advantage of the shed. Uh, anyway, uh, just set my rig up. And basically, uh, two drop shot, a size uh, 10 hook on, uh, two swan shot, and there's a sliding uh, waggler. Yeah, I'll show you now. They're into these uh, very fine tips here, which uh, is good. 
like they're still water blue. So what I've done, I've got that sliding, uh, and I've got a stop knot, uh, or a rubber stop, uh, more or less up to the top of the rod. So Dennis said it's about 13 foot, and this rod's 13 foot, so I, I'm guessing at the moment. I haven't plumbed it, but I'll try, uh, uh, I'll try without first and see what happens. I, I would imagine if you put in knobs of ground bit in, they're going to come to it anyway. So there you are. Um, show the ground bit now. Yeah, the ground bit's um, you buy over here, and it's like a, it's a white flaky crumb. Just had a bit of moisture with it. Uh, I've got some sweet corn as well. And I'll fish a bread flake. Yeah, I've got some bread. Yeah. So let's see, what, let's see how we get on. <laughs> well, I'm not going to believe this. First chuck. And I've hooked a bloody monster. <laughs> it feels like a bloody monster. I don't know what it is. It's taking me right over the other side of the lake. I, I gotta say, yeah, this rod is bloody. I gotta care but you don't break this rod like Dennis said. It's like a match rod. And it's like a, a bloody 20 pound fish on it or something. But it's not moving. Oh, is it gonna to come towards me? Right, let's see if I can play it, I don't know, might have to end up losing this one, <laughs> you don't know, do you? Come off, yep. Yeah. Uh. yeah, like I said, he just come off. <laughs> That's funny games anyway. Oh well, let's have another go. Okay, um... Try, try a bit of bread flake again. Second chuck. A couple of little knobs of ground meat in and uh, some little bread, little punch bread flake. Oh, not punch, but a flake. Um, pinched on the top. Let's see what happens. I won't put a, I won't put a, any ground bit there just in case. Just put a couple of knobs in again. <laughs> well, it, it, it was bloody beyond, you know. I was afraid of breaking Dennis's rod. Where's the red tail? Oh, meat con. Oh, maybe it's a meat con I had on. I don't know. Bit through the line anyway.
What is it? What's it, Mekong? Yeah. I don't I'm not sure I caught a Mekong. I don't think I've caught one yet. Just going to cut a bit of shot because the shot is uh, first just uh, a mess of absorbed water. <laughs> Very sensitive to these fronts, so you only need to shave a little bit of lead off. I'm guessing a big red tail then came under my feet <laughs> in the shallows.
still slightly deeper. Only because I think, when I tied the hook on, I was a couple of inches short, so a few inches. Well, I suppose it's a waiting game after all. <laughs> right, I'll come back when there's a bit of action. Gotta fit another fish on now, it looks like an Aesop. My guess is. Which is like a mullet type of fish. Right, yeah, so the silver fish anyway. Oh, you're gonna help me here. He's got a net it for you. Oh, that's good. Get over here for the camera. Yeah, 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 I thought it would. Even yeah. I could tell that. They're lovely. It'll be at least six or seven pounds in here. Nice one. <coughs> do, do they, you know, if you get them up to the service and they go bad, will they give in or not? Not really, no. They no. just, uh, that, that'll swim around right under your feet for a little while if it's a good one. That's it. It's, only, it's not a very big one. Oh, yeah. Beautiful fish, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's the trouble is you won't be able to see it in there. Yeah, no more as well. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's time. Clive, we've all seen it now. You can... <laughs> well, you know, I'm trying to get his head up. Oh, that's beautiful. That's, that's better than I thought he was. It's a good issue. Can we get with a la la Better with a longer landing than should get short. Yeah, landing. well, you're better off getting up and walking backwards. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I don't know if you That was a tight.
Uh, yeah, I just missed the bike then. Um, yeah, basically what I've done, uh, I've had a couple of nice uh, East Hops, which are uh, like a mix between, like, I suppose, a mullet and a, a calf. <laughs> um, I've had a nice double figure one. Two about, uh, one about eight pound, one about seven pound. And now, I'm going on the paste because I was told that I could catch different fish on it. So, there we are. So, I'm going to try it. But, uh, funny enough, I've had a couple of bites on it, but um, I missed the bites, you know, the typical paste fish. You know, you, you get bites and you miss it. So, so, what I'm doing, I'm getting uh, bits of it and I'm just making little blobs. And just putting them in now and again, trying to track the fish to it. Typical pace fish of mine, the floats like, you know, sort of bobbing and <laughs> moving, but not doing anything. Filter feeding, as we say. I don't know if you can see the float. Oop! Uh, so I had a little bite. So I had a bite then. I don't know what Dennis is doing. He's had a red tail, I think. Okay, Dennis has got one on. Well, you got a, what is it, Den? What do you think it is? Uh, a big packer or a red tail. Packer or a red tail, okay. Is that on the paste again? Yeah. Yeah. Nice little rod you got there, look. But you lose free, uh, your uh, free line, you know, aren't you? More or less, yeah. yeah. That's braid you got on there, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's what it was. 20 pound braid. 20 pound braid, I could tell the, the noise of it. <laughs> keeping itself close to the bank. The red tail's on the packer, it's doing the same thing. It's a red tail or a packer, he thinks, yeah. I think I've got a feeling it's a small red tail. Small red tail? Yeah, probably 20 pounds. Small one, 20 pounds, do you? Yeah, Oh, yeah, some of the red tails uh, I've, I've seen are like 50 pounds plus. It's very strange because whichever way they run, yeah. they seem to come back on exactly the same line. <laughs> strange, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I tell you what, absolutely brilliant fishing, though, isn't it? You know, in Thailand. Yeah. yeah. It's a fisherman's paradise, really. Oh, yes, a big red tail. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Look at that. Um, have we got um, a lovely Thai assistant going to help net it? I've, not, I've never found out what her name is, to be honest. Please. Yeah. What is your name? What is your name? Your name? Yeah? Lena. 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 Oh, very She's nice. She's got an English name, Lena. Yeah, very nice. I think that'll be a nickname. Yeah. Oh, Lena. Oh, look at that. Oops. Oops. I say, hold the net still, he'll, he'll pull it over the net. Yay, so well done. She's done it before. Yeah. Might be a bit more than 20. Yeah, a bit more than 20, do you reckon? Yeah. 
Big whiskery or thing. Do you want to hold it up? Show the camera? You want to pose? Yeah, you can do it, Nina. Yes, yeah. go on, Nina. You oh, look at that. You can be famous, yeah? Oh, that's it. Look, you hold it hold it by the tail, I think. That's it. And then and then underneath the... Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Whoa. There you go. Oh, there that. Oh, nice. Lovely. <laughs> Big eyes, Samuel. Yeah. There you go. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Well, we just had a bit of um, a result here with Dennis. He's just caught what they call a Badook. I never seen it before. Of course, a massive one, isn't it? That is big. For a Badook. He knows where he's going. Look at this. Oh, 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 oh. he's going back in the water. <laughs> oh, there you are. That was a nice one. I think you can tell this one. Okay, well we've had um, we've, we've had a couple of hours fishing. Um, Dennis is done right. Well, we had Dennis all together. About 120 pounds more than you have. <laughs> yeah, you probably have. <laughs> but no, you've had uh, two or three red tails. Um, Four red tails, I think. And yeah. A couple of uh, mekons. Mekon. And the great big. Uh, Baduk. Praduk. Praduk, yeah, big catfish, which uh, they don't eat, but it was so big they thought they'd put it back. Yeah, yeah. I, think, said, I think one small yeah. swine. Even the owners said uh, they'd never seen uh, one that big before. But uh, anyway, I've had a couple of nice Aesops, as you can see, what we call Aesops, like, which is a mix between a, I don't know, a chub, mullet, and a calf. <laughs> That's the way I can describe it. Okay, well, anyway, as I say, it's a great little fishery. Uh, he charges. Um, 500 baht, which is, uh, I suppose, about 10 quid. But, uh, Dennis got a little bit of concession, so... Uh, but it's worth coming along, anyone, if you're coming over, give us a shout, and uh, we'll put you right on this one. So, you know, it's, uh, it's very quiet, no other anglers here. No strap on my box. No, oh, you got, got to carry it like this. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it broke many years ago, so it's not gone. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay, see you on the next one.